Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys, the greatest football club in the world, owned by the greatest people in the world, you, its supporters, the rare, rarest of rare things in the football league, a club owned not by a billionaire, but by people, people like you. Uh, AFC Wimbledon, um, Nerd Fighteria sponsored AFC Wimbledon. In real life, congratulations to them staying in the football league. They're going to be in FIFA 15. So, um, so proud and so excited for, uh, for the real life AFC Wimbledon. Um, and I know Nerd Fighteria is excited to continue our sponsorship of them. But the fictional AFC Wimbledon, the men uh, and woman who you are looking at today, made of pixels, but also, like all meaning, made um, from us, made real by virtue of our belief in them. The Wimbley Wombleys, top of the league, uh, tied on points with Sheffield United, but we have a far better goal differential due to the relentless scoring of our two forwards married to each other, teammates in life and in love, John Green and John Green Nay Bennett. Out on the wing today, we've got Ya 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 Bamba. Uh, we've got Kaz, the golden child, and K. St. Louis, the patron saint of Lost Cross, is also in the midfield and in our goalkeeper. Actually, I don't know who's starting at goal today. Is it, is it Gledson or is it Seb Brown? I don't know. Time will tell. I'm going to find out what uh, member of One Direction I should uh, pursue. Are th is that a weird thing to say? I'm going to take a quiz today where I find out what member of One Direction would be best suited for me. Is this as a friend or as a life partner kind of thing? Great pass there from the patron saint of Lost Crosses. That's a really good job. Off to a roaring start here for the Wimbley Wombleys. Um, uh, Meredith, go ahead and ask me the first question. What type of guy do I usually go for? I mean, I like uh, dark eyes. Um, if that, I don't know. I don't know if that's that's relevant. Oh, you know what is? Oh, come on. Ball, John Green. No, man. Other John Green with a golden opportunity there, but it goes wanting. Like. So much effort in this world. Uh, what type of guys do I usually go for? Uh, funny, really like good sense of humor. Um, and then, you know, reasonably well put together in terms of, uh, you know, I guess I like a V-shaped torso. Uh, class clown? <laughs> um, probably not, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm just answering the questions, Meredith, and then you have to decide which, which of the 17 magazine answers is closest to what I said. You're the you're you're the scientist here. I, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. I'm just speaking from the heart. Uh, what's my second question? Oh God, terrible tackle. I woke up late. I woke up late. How do I make a thrown together outfit look perfectly polished? Um, boy, that is. The, can I can can we actually make that one a multiple choice? Because that's so far from the, the reality of my experience. I mean, I have a nine-month-old child. I, I haven't woken up late in, in what feels like actually and literally forever. This doesn't seem to have been designed for parents. Um, what is, what, can you have some, can you tell me some of the, oh God, some of the options? I, are we going to lose to Tranmere Rovers? Is Tranmere a place? Doesn't that just mean between the mirrors? What? Uh, a little black dress? A cardigan and a little black dress? Oh, a cardigan or a little black dress. Or a white button-down shirt. I mean, I'm much more likely to wear a white button-down shirt than any of those other things. Although I like a good cardigan. Um, I just, usually when I wear, like, you know that cardigan look that, that, that my wife and presumably other people like, where you wear the, uh, the button-down shirt and then you have the cardigan over it? You know what I'm talking about, Meredith? I just feel like every time I wear that, I feel like um, my 16-year-old self somewhere is just judging me. He's not proud of what the man I've become, you know? Like, he's just kind of horrified. Like, can't believe that guy's wearing a cardigan under his long sleeve button-down shirt. Like, he looks like the kind of person I feared he would become. All right, what's next? D did that answer your question or no? Preppy academic? That's probably closest to, closest to where I am. You're right. Good point. What do I do with my free time during the summer? Um... Yeah, I like to read. Is that an option? Study for the SATs? Uh, I mean, it's been a while since I spent my free time studying for the SATs, but I, I, I have to say, I, I think there are less enjoyable things in the world. Uh, the, problem with the, with the problem with studying for the SATs, what, who's going to get a yellow card? What? Oh, you were naughty, Mr. Power. 
you were very bad like seven minutes ago. They're like, oh, yeah, they had a terrible tackle on the golden child. He's only 14 years old. I can't believe that you did that to him. It's a tiny little boy. Probably shouldn't even be playing professional soccer. What a pass! Oh, he was offside. Oh, God, what a gorgeous pass. I thought the offside rule was a bit, bit unnecessary. What, what is my question again? Oh, you already picked setting for the SATs. It's over. Um, was there anything fun, like uh, going out dancing with my friends or something? I wouldn't. Starring in the musical Grease? Well, based on what we know from my goal celebration songs, probably not going to star in a musical version of Grease. Um, <laughs> it's just probably not going to happen. Any, anything else that seemed plausible to you? That was the closest? Really? Come on, what is further away from starring in the musical version of Grease? Give me another example that's further away from that, please. Oh, you already, you already pushed forward. Okay, keep going. Let's, no, no, you're right. There's only the future. There's not the past. We must move on, Meredith. We must continue. Which celeb gets my, gets my heart beating faster? I'm going to need some options. Tom Felton, I don't know who that is. Is that Draco Malfoy? Yeah, a little bit. I'm into it. Robert Pattinson, the, um, the, um, the, the Edward Cullen. Not very nice V-shape, yes. Joss Hutcherson, the, the young fellow from the Hunger Games films. Yep. Tyler Blackburn, who is in Pretty Little Liars, a, a program I'm not intimately familiar with. Nil-nil draw at halftime against Tranmere Rover. Sorry, I'm talking about, talking about cute, cute boys. But we'll, hold on, who else? Justin Bieber. Um, as you know, I'm very sympathetic to the Biebs. I feel that um, he has been a little bit hard done in the glee that, that, that uh, people have felt in the wishing for him to be deported and whatnot. And I think there's a little bit of a failure to imagine him as, as a com complex human being. That said, for me, that's the one I can immediately dismiss, along with the, pr the, 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 the guy who's in Pretty Little Liars, because I don't, I don't know what he looks like. Um, I mean... I I met Josh Hutcherson briefly at the MTV movie. Well, I guess I didn't meet him. I, I was 12 feet away from him. He was on stage, and I thought he looked at me. We had a moment. I'm going to go him. I'm going to go Hutcherson. Yeah. He's a good-looking guy. What do you, where would you go with that, Meredith? Draco Malfoy? You'd go Josh? Yeah, okay, good. All right. just want to make sure we're on the same page here. If we're going to work together, this, is, this stuff is important. The golden child! The golden child! The golden child! Oh! Oh, and he's hugged by his mentor and dear friend, Ball John Green, who's nine feet taller than he is. Look at that beautiful goal from the golden child. He scores with his left. He scores with his right. Our golden child makes some more look shite. Sorry, some more is just, it's, we can't forget. We're Wimbley Wombies. We don't forget. Um, we do forgive. We do forgive. What, what was my next question? It's, it's movie night. What do I pick? Like a romantic comedy? Is that one of the options? I'd definitely pick a romantic comedy if it's movie night. Oh, oh my god! Oh, is he a wizard? Ball John Green kisses the turf of the Wimbley Wombly Stadium because he loves his club and indeed the field on which they play so much. But look at that ridiculous header! Ball John Green, John Green. When Tranmere Rovers fall apart, they really fall apart. He gives it all for the team upon his mustache. We're keen. Ball John Green, John Green. What's my next question? What words do I live by? The only way out is through. Is that one of the options? That's a little like YOLO. It's the opposite. Um... Well, it is a little bit like YOLO, I guess. What, YOLO, live in the moment. Be true to yourself. Oh, but which self would you otherwise be truing to? Um, <laughs> no. What, uh, what are my other options? If you can dream it, you can do it. If you can dream it, you can do it. Really? 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 That just doesn't seem terribly well thought out. Um... um I mean, I've literally, literally had dreams uh, in which I could, I was a banana. I, I, I mean, I, what, what do you mean if you dream it? That's clearly not factual. If you can dream it, you can do it. So, I mean, you, anyway. Um, almost everyone has flying dreams. 
What, what were the other ones? Be true to yourself. I'm, I'm slowly moving back toward be true to yourself. YOLO? <sighs> but to me, YOLO means you only live once, so please protect this magical gift of consciousness. Not like, ah, whatever, I think I'll get a tattoo, YOLO. You know what I mean? Live in the moment. Live in the moment, yes. I, didn't, I, I, I went over, right over that one. That's fairly solid, good. Yeah, live in the moment. This is all, all we have is now, Meredith. The future is crumbling before us. This is the only, this is the only moment. And I, got, I have to say, I appreciate you spending it with the Wimbly Womblies. Um, what's, what's next? What am I going to be doing 10 years from now? I'm going to be old, super old. Is that one of the options? I'm going to be in my late 40s. Oh, 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 devastating. What a pass, ball, John Green, you've got to see that. He doesn't have great vision. Uh, what's my next question? Or did I not answer that one? Okay, man, it's got it. Sorry, we're, at the eight, we're in the 82nd minute. We've got, I've got to find out which member of One Direction is going to be my life partner. High school superlative? Uh, I don't think I have one, but uh, what are my options? Best. Best dressed, no friendliest, no most likely to succeed, no funniest. I mean, of, the, of those, funniest, but most likely to be famous? No. No, that was Daniel Anarchon. Um, Daniel Anarchon was most of those things, actually. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, my God, what are you thinking? Pass to your beautiful husband! See the ball. Look, uh, look at this opportunity. Look at your husband. Look at your husband cutting to the inside. Oh, my God. My best quality is, uh, what, what are my options? Super close to my family? I am. Well, I'm very loyal to my best friends. I, I, work, I don't work that hard. Um, I'm going to say super loyal. Because I, I, well, that's why I think Chris would say that I'm super loyal. I think my mom would be like, he's not close enough. Karaoke song, that's easy. I only have one. It's 500 miles because I've sung it a lot on stage and um, I can't sing anything, but I at least know how not to sing 500 miles. It's kind of like Firework by Katy Perry. They're very similar songs. Um, they both start with f sounds. So that's the main reason. I just made three substitutions like the pros do. Yeah, Firework. Because baby, you're a f Yeah, I'm already, I'm already into it. I can basically... I am Katy Perry, essentially. People are like, did Katy Perry come to karaoke night? Who did I get? Louis? Or possibly Louie? Which one is that? Tell me more about him. He's wearing a striped shirt. But Meredith, don't you know these, don't you know these guys? He has a girlfriend. Well, which, I, I didn't get Harry Styles or the one I said I liked, Niall? Or uh, what, Zane? What's his name? Liam? Louie. Lewis. Does he have a last name? No, he doesn't. That's sad. Well, you know what's not sad? The Wimbley Wombly's heroic victory over Tranmere Rovers. Their keeper gets a pat on the butt, but of course, because this is FIFA, the, the, the pat doesn't actually extend to the butt because there can be no physical contact between actual humans. Oh, it's a great day. It's a great day for the Wimbley Wombly's. I get to date L Lewis, or possibly Louie, um, and we emerge as victors in our mission to beat the Tranmere Rovers and move ahead through League One on our way to greatness. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.